The powerful thing about this seed is that even though it is terribly, terribly small, it can grow into one of the largest plants there is. Uh, if you go to the next slide, you can, you can actually be able to see how um, a ma little mustard seed can produce something so big. Look at that. You know, it's actually, you know, um, it's, more than, it's more than double the height of, of the person. Even the width is it's big. So that little mustard seed became something so big. So now, when the Bible said about the, talked about the mustard seed, you know, um, this is what it was talking about. Amen. And so, my friends, if, if you plant the tiniest of seeds, if you water it, take care of it, help it to grow, it can become something so big that it can actually look like that in the spirit realm. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, if you research about, you know, the, um, if, you, if you research about the master seed and master plant, you find out that the master plant, after being planted, is a very, um, you know, it's a very, it's, it's a very aggressive plant because it, it likes to take over other other things in the in the soil. So, you know, um, it, it starts to grow. It's it wants to conquer everything. It actually conquers everything that it can. You know, it just overtakes and destroys the weeds. So, what you need today is a seed that is so strong. And what I'm talking about is the 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 quality of the seed, not the, you know, how big it is. We need to plant a seed that is so strong that you believe in so much that it grows and it grows and it takes over all the doubts that you have. You know, a faith that is so aggressive as a master seed so that it removes all the doubt, it removes all the negative thoughts. Praise God. Yeah. Yes. Please tell the person next to you that I have a seed to plant. I have a seed to plant. So how do you plant a seed of faith? Knowing that a seed is a believed outcome wrapped up in a little seed, you have to understand that you have to understand the fact that you are working in harvest right now. We are all working in seed time and harvest right now, whether we know it or not. You know, someone someone you know, in the lands of your life, somewhere in your life, has actually planted a seed in your mind and you are living according to what you believed was going to be the outcome, whether it was good or whether it was bad. All we just need to, all we just need to do is to understand how it works so that we can actually um, use it for the glory of God. So the seed is what you believe would be the outcome and it can be planted by a lot of people in your life. You see, one thing that really, that really saddens me most in life is when I see a father, it's when I see a father curse his child. When I see a father or a parent, you know, um, when I see parents cursing their children or putting down their children, you know, like um, how many of you have, have ever had, you know, um, something like that happen in your life? You know, when your father tells you, you see, you never amount to anything, you are so stupid, you are reckless, you are a fool. You see, a child, for example, let's say a child brings, uh, you know, it happens so many times. A child brings the school reports to the father. And then, you know, the father looks at it and, and sees that, you know, on the report, she's got a C, which is like, you know, the normal average, you see. But, you know, for the father, it's not his standards. So what he would do is start calling her, you know, that she's, she's reckless. You know, she start um, putting her down, telling her that she'll never amount to anything. You see, um, you know, if I was to be really serious in life, you know, you know, if I was to be serious about something, it would be this. It would be about, you know, parents, you know, saying the wrong things to their children, saying the wrong things to their children, planting seeds, planting bad seeds upon their children. You know, let me tell you that, you know, um, the words by the father of this child, 
you know, um, are a seed. And he is planting in her or his life. You know, if, you, if she allows it to grow, it will become her plant. And you, and you see so many parents, and they're so devastated because their children actually have gone out, you know, doing drugs. But really, the parent himself is the one who actually, you know, prophesied over that child's failure. You see, um, but look, look if, if we look on the right side, you see, how many of you have ever, you know, had, you know, your mom or dad, you know, tell you, tell you this, you know, you know what, you have failed, but, you know, get up, my child, get up, because I believe in you, you're going to do something awesome in your life. Yeah. You see, that is a seed that a parent, a parent can, you know, plant inside a child's life, and if, if, if it's allowed to grow, you would it will become true in that child's life. Praise God. Some of you have had the doctor, you know, say, plant seeds inside your life. You know, the doctor says, you know, it's, you've only got two months to live, or you've got this disease that is incurable, there's, you know, no way, you know, you're going to be healed. You've got doctors planting seeds in your life, or you have, um, the media planting seeds in your life. You have parents um, planting seeds in your life. And, and if you are if you are working and you know if you are living according to what somebody else has planted in your life, you know the outcome is going to be really bad. Some of us actually plant seeds in our own lives. Oh well, nothing will ever work out for me. Winch, 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 wine, wine, wine. You know, ever wondered why good things never happen? Ever wondered why good things never happen to you? Because you've been planting seeds, negative seeds in your life. You've been telling yourself that you are nothing, that you are reckless. Praise God. We need to understand, you know, that we actually get what we plant. It's true. We get what we plant. You know, you cannot plant an orange tree expecting an apple tree. You, you can't plant a negative seed and expect something good to come out of that. That's true. You must be careful to what kind of seed you plant in your life. Praise God. Yeah. And I want to help you today. I want to help you plant you know, a seed of faith in your life. And, and I want to help you today you know, plant a seed of faith into your situation. Amen. Mm. In the Bible, we read of a... Of a blind man, you know, he was crying to Jesus, and Jesus said, What do you want me to do for you? And he said, I'm blind, Lord. I want to see, I want to see again. You know, this man, this man um, saw and believed his outcome. He didn't dwell on the fact that he was blind, you see, but he believed that God would heal him. So there's a lot of us today that spend a lot of time focused on our difficult situations. And I want to tell you that being focused on your issue will not bring about the solution. If you don't like the solution, plant something new and positive in your life. Create a new, create a new good situation in your life. Praise God. Believe God for something good. You know, you've listened to the devil, you see. You've listened to the world. You've listened to the doctors, all the bad reports. You know, you've listened to everybody telling you negative, you know, rubbish that shouldn't be in your life. It's time that you create something new and good. But it's, uh, it's, but it's sad for some of us, you know. We have, we have actually, um, we have actually, um, we have actually, we have made the seed of despair become our comfort zone. I came across an idiom, an idiom or a saying that, you know, it was my first time to hear this. It, it says, um, you know, um, so this idiom says that misery loves company. It was interesting to know that, you know, it meant that unhappy people invite other people to be unhappy. You see, some of us invite other people to our pity parties, you see, and start talking about, you know, how bad the issue is, or, you know, oh, it's bad, I tell you, oh, Bad. Or have I told you how bad it is? You see, you know, I think people do. I think um, as people do this, they are glorifying. 
they are glorifying their problem. Yeah. You see, instead of glorifying God. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, my job is horrible. Oh, my health is horrible. Oh, my situation is bad. You know, we have gone so good at describing how bad it is. You know, we've made it our focus point, you see. So we go around planting, you know, these seeds of negative, you know, thoughts. You know, so we make the seed of despair our comfort zone. We become so comfortable and we forget to plant a seed of faith.